Happy Friday, December 29th, the last weekday of the year. It is also the day before the Fiesta Bowl featuring the Washington Huskies taking on the Nittany Lions of Penn State. About ready to derive the Washington State Cougar home. Hello. Very, very poor showing yesterday against Michigan State. Um, I'm actually not going to the bowl game this year. I went to, uh, for those of you who ever actually watched my videos, I did go to the uh, to Georgia last year to watch the Huskies take on Alabama. Um, uh, because it was a once-in-a-lifetime thing, you know, um, and it was down in the south playing the best, arguably one of the best college football teams in the history of college football. You know, it's such a history past, and I decided, you know, hey, let's just do it. <coughs> so it was a great experience. Uh, definitely I won't forget it, but um, Fiesta Bowl this year. Uh, Huskies and tickets for the Huskies. Um, definitely renewing them. Uh, I just didn't want to go down to Arizona this year, and I just want to spend more time with my family. Um, but as you can probably hear, it is raining up here right now. We're actually in the midst of a long stretch of uh, rainy weather, and I'm actually okay with that. You know, uh, aside from having to run in this kind of weather, uh, it's not bad because you know it's uh, it's something that we deal with kind of um, on an ongoing basis out in the Pacific Northwest. But it also means that. There's more snowfall in the mountains, and there's also, uh, you know, it keeps the, uh, it helps the trees and the uh, reforestation of all the birds. We had a lot of fires last year, so it helps out in that regard. Um, as for Sunday morning, I'm actually going up to uh, Mailbox Peak to do that uh, hike again, uh, hitting the trailhead, uh, usually the gate, because they don't open the gates um, until after I get there because you got to start early um, and that's going to be um, 5 o'clock in the morning I'll be reaching the trailhead which means I'll probably be leaving around 3.30 um, to hit the trailhead with uh, you know my headlight or my um, my headlamp on and I need micro spikes I'll need a lot of cold weather gear because uh, it will be probably snowing depending on the snow level and we're trying to do that I'm doing that with a group that I'm doing the um uh, Mount Baker hike with in July and we're going to try to do this for time so it's going to be um, sort of time sem time sensitive to see uh, how quickly we can get to the top and back down um, so I will definitely post those times on Tuesday after the new year um, other than that things are uh, looking up as I said you know big things will be happening next year in regards to the career things are starting to move uh, I'm just kind of waiting for the chips to fall in place in order for me to make a move and when that does happen things will happen and I will definitely fill you guys in other than uh, simply that uh, pretty much all the snow is melted here except for the huge piles that people pushed off with the uh, snow plows and people with snowmen still in their yards um, I'm actually looking forward to New Year's this year because um, you know uh, a girl and I were heading up to a wine bar in Woodenville, which is kind of like wine country around here. And we're going to have a date for the first time in, um, I guess, the history of the relationship because we've never gone out on New Year's. We've just kind of stuck in and, you know, had some food and a couple drinks with friends and not really lived it up, parted it up or anything like that. So it'll be sort of a, a fun experience and a different experience and just to have some fun and, and get that date night in. You know, we haven't had a date in quite a while and, you know, having a kid and no real reliable babysitters that are near um, kind of hinders that, but we're going to make it happen. So, um, so for the last, probably the last post of 2017, I may post one on Sunday on my way out to Mailbox Peak, but we shall see. But <coughs> this should be my last... <coughs> last post of 2017 I want to wish everyone a happy new year and I hope that 2017 finishes strong and that you start 2018 with a renewed vision that you can change it is possible and that good things are going to come as long as you have a positive optimistic mindset have a great happy new year I'll talk to you later